Now the new tube, I'm the Tough Man, and welcome back to Banished. Well, guys, I've got to say that I think I've learned from my first playthrough. Now, I've got to say that I've only done three episodes on the other one. Uh, I did have a fourth recorded. Now, I went ahead and I cleaned my desktop up a little bit, and I deleted my audio from that. Uh, I've still got the video, but I have absolutely no audio. But I believe, guys, that we can take that what we've learned from that first start uh, with our first... Uh, village as you can see what's in front of me now that, that is the first village in the background there We can take what we've learned from that we can move on and we can start a brand new playthrough of banished and uh, We can we can go from there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and yeah. Beldine sounds like a good one to me. Let's uh, Switch around that one now. I'm gonna leave it as valleys. I'm gonna put the terrain size to large I'm gonna put the uh, cli uh, climate to fair I'm, gonna, I'm not going to put the disasters on, because I don't want any disasters. I just want to be, you know, floating around, uh, you know, and, and, and doing my bits and bobs. So, uh, Starting conditions, however, I am going to put down to medium. Now, medium starting conditions means I'm an and moderate. I think that's a bit of a typo there. Uh, a moderate game begins with five families. Clothing, food, firewood, tools, and construction materials are provided. A storage barn has already been built. Some seeds for fields and orchards are available. So we're going to head and go down that, uh, go down this route and go down to uh, to the new town of Beldine and see exactly what's going to be in store for us in this playthrough. And like I said, guys, when I started Banished, that um, I will be swapping and changing different uh, different playthroughs of Banished as well. Uh, when I when I believe I've I've learned something new, or I can maybe start again and, and learn, uh, you know, I can take what I've learned and make a, a better playthrough of that, then I will start a new uh, Let's Play of it. But we're back with Banished Part 1, Beldine, and it's a brand new world, it's a brand new Let's Play, and I really want to try something out. I really want to try something out that I've been thinking about doing for a while, so... First and foremost, we need to wait for it to load, of course. Uh, it's a large world, so it's going to take a little bit. But what I want to do, guys, is um, instead of putting a lot of houses down, I had an idea. And I want to test this out, because I don't know how it's going to work, but I had an idea. And I'll show you it when I get into uh, in, into the actual game here in a second, once this is it. Voiding a tornado, that's right. I don't want any tornadoes. I don't want any kind of uh, um, disasters going on at all. We're going to go ahead straight away and pause the game so we can see exactly what we've got around us. Fantastic that we've got this, uh, this area here full of... Um, well, I believe, yeah, there's a river that goes all the way through there. So we can get a little bit of a trade area, fishing area, whatever it is, on the side of here. We've got a big area here that we could possibly use for the uh, the forester. Or, mm, actually, the forester might be a good idea. See, the thing is, ah, man. Right, that could be a good area for a mine, or maybe this here. Um... Now, I, I am going to take a couple of suggestions that you guys have said, and that's uh, one of the ones was instead of, you know, going ahead and plonking down a load of farming area, uh, to go ahead and put down a gatherer's hut, because gatherers apparently can feed, you know, quite a, uh, quite a, a few people. So, what I'm going to do straight away, guys, is uh, the dirt road here. I'm just going to go ahead and build a dirt road all across there so that we can uh, move along. And I think it will go out that far, and I think we'll stop it right about here. Okay, so now they've got to get rid of that tree first. First and foremost, guys, food. Now, this was one thing that uh, that tripped me up when I first started playing it, was food. 15 by 15. Full-on crop field, please, if you don't mind. We're going to go ahead and get a dirt road all the way around this because it's going to be key for how I want to do things. Now, what I wanted to try out, guys, was something different. Now, instead of putting down homes for each of my families uh, that's around here now, I'm not going to put stone uh, houses down because they require iron and so on and so forth. I'm going to go ahead and put down a boarding house. Now, it does require quite a bit of logs and quite a bit of stone to get started. Um, but, let me just go ahead and... Where is it? Right, there's my stuff. Plenty of, plenty, I don't know if we've got enough stone, but that's not a problem. That's not a problem at the moment. That's the map of the area, and look how big this is. This map is mentally huge. Uh, we've got our stuff down there as well. I'm going to put that down there. I don't want a log as well if I can. Where's my logs gone? There. We're going to put the logs up there in there. So, right. Guys, uh, I did say 
I want to build one of these boarding houses. We, well, we've got enough stuff. We have enough stuff to be able to build this. Provides a temporary place for the homeless to live. All of these are classed as homeless. Um, and I've noticed that when, uh, you know, in single player, when I pop down buildings and stuff like that, they're all taking their cut of things to eat and, you know, firewood and, and, and clothes and so on and so forth. Well, with a boarding house, everything will go to one place. So, you know, people, a lot of people won't just go ahead and grab loads of stuff and then bring it all the way back. So I'm hoping that this boarding house here that I'm going to put right here will go ahead and, you know, house our people and it will cut down on the amount of stuff that people are actually using. At least that's what I hope is going to happen. I am going to, you know, want to at some stage start building houses and so on and so forth so that these guys can move out of the boarding house, start their own families and, and get the population going. But at the moment, that's what we're going to do. Now, we've got enough to be getting on with, uh, apart from I need to, to say, ooh, right, I think we'll go for wheat in this one. I think we'll close that. So we, want, we need some farmers. And I think I'll go ahead and uh, immediately get four farmers on the go. It's early spring. I want to get as, mu as much food as I possibly can into, uh, into this place. Now, I'm also going to go ahead on this side and do another 15 by 15, just like that, field right there. Now, I'm going to wait until they chop all this down and sort it all out before putting a road around it. Let's go ahead and whoops, press play. So that we can see our guys getting on with their, uh, getting on with the business. Now, do let me know, guys, if this is too cluttered for you and you would like to see, you know, something disappear or something go, then by all means, let me know. Let me know. In fact, it might be a good idea just to, uh, uh, see, the thing is, you can move it around, but you can't minimalize it or anything like that. So let's pop that down there and let's pop the, uh, that down there. All these guys are going to get on with the business. And that's still going to look good. Now, typically, um, when I'm when I'm around with my camera, um, I tend to get a good feel for the camera angle, and if that camera angle moves at all, I don't know what it is, but it just feels really, really weird and really, really strange uh, if I manage to do that. So, one thing I have learned, guys, obviously food. Another thing that I've learned is tools. My goodness gracious me, we need a lot of tools. We need a lot of tools. So the amount of stored tools there is currently set at 30. I do need a Forester's Lodge anyway. Um, so I think it, it might not be a bad idea to put it out here. I know there's not enough you know, wood around here to be able to do that. But they're going to cut down some wood and they're going to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and put a Forester's Lodge down right over here. And uh, we're going to see that how that goes. Now I believe I'm going to need a... Road, most definitely. I'm going to need a road. So let's go ahead and pop that over there. But uh, in fact, no. I'm going to put you down there like that, and I'm going to get a good clear sight like that. And uh, in fact, let me go out out of here a second. I've got no idea where that's actually gone. I'm going to have to wait until they cut that down. So no worries. Let's speed up time. They're also building this boarding house so that these guys are not going to be out of home, uh, you know, for a long time. The plants, uh, the wheat is going down quite nicely. All this is going down quite nicely. We've got some logs going. We've got some stone here. Plenty of stuff that's going to be coming into the storage pile, um, which is going to be awesome. And there we are. There's another farm. We're going to go ahead and pop down some cabbages. Now, the more of a diverse diet that these guys get means the more healthy they are. So, we're going to do that. And, like I said, I'm going to put a road all the way around it. Like that. And that's going to sort them out. Now, all these are currently... Can I see where I've gone with that? I don't... I can't see it, can I? I'm going to have to... You know what I'm going to do? Guys, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and remove uh, resources from this little area over here. Bad, I know, but I need to see what I'm doing. And, you know, at a later date, we can possibly get maybe a small farm in there, or most probably going to be houses. I'm going to get some houses in there as well. So, speed up time once again so that we can get on with it. Plenty of stuff going into our storage area. 64% full. That's how I like to see things. 
of all these so I can see what I'm doing now. This will allow us also to get the bridge that we're going to need to cross this little, uh, this little brook or whatever you want to, what you want to call it, a ditch, overly large ditch or whatever. Uh, you can toggle, uh, you can t toggle, you can toggle off pause by uh, just pressing spacebar. Oh, this is good. This is good because it means I can actually see what's going to go, on, uh, what's going on. It does look low that I'm going to have to remove some more resources so I can see what actually is going to go on right over here. I'm going also going to go ahead and, because we're going to run out of space in this thing, we're 87% full, we're going to need to grab ourselves a stockpile. There we are, and I think right here is a good place for a bit of, bit of a stockpile going on. Good, good. So when that's full, they're going to start piling uh, resources into here as well. So, I can finally see what's going to go on uh, on here. I think these guys still need to get rid of these. Do they? Have I not done that? Ooh. Okay. I must have already selected that. Yeah, there we are, look. Brilliant. Just get rid of these couple of trees, and we'll be laughing. Come on, guys. Let's get rid of these trees. No? Yes, maybe. Please. If you don't mind. I could really use you removing this, these two trees here. They must be already, you know, designated to be chopped down, but nobody seemed to be doing them. I'm not sure what the problem is. Um, maybe it's the road. Maybe they haven't actually done the road. You know what? Uh, let me get my thing up here because we're also going to need to dedicate people to builders and we're going to get three builders now um, also we've got enough to make more we need more farmers brilliant so now we've got builders they will concentrate on hopefully getting this road sorted and this this house this building here so that all our guys have a place to sleep They're doing very well with it, I've got to say, look at this, they've got all the stuff, they're just building it now, that's all they're literally doing at the moment. I'm wondering why this is not getting removed over here. And really need those, at least those couple of trees. They're stuck on that road, you see, and the road's not been done yet. I think it's because the builders are all on this, rather than building the roads. So we'll have to just wait until these guys have finished there. But look at this, this looks pretty cool. This looks like a pretty nice place. Pretty suave. Pretty suave. And it is early autumn. Our guys are picking the food as we speak. I don't think these are going to be ready. Not especially not if we've, you know, if these guys don't get a move on. Here we are, look. Brilliant. Everybody now has a home. And we have whoa, we have quite a lot of slots there. Now apparently they do still have babies in here. I've been told they do still have babies in here. So that's pretty good. Now, you see what I mean? The firewood there, the potatoes, and the wheat, they've only taken enough for the whole house, rather than every single house taking their own little fair share. Um, it's, they've done it that way. Now, I think that's brilliant. Now, ah, yes, the road is now going in. We've just got to wait until these guys knock down these trees, and then I can start thinking about getting a, a, a bridge across here. Here we go, look. Awesome. I can see where I actually got to. Oops, a little bit further. There we go. And you need to stop. Right, good. Good, 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 good. Now let's get a bridge. Um, now, oh, hang on a minute, because we need to do this first. A dirt road cannot be placed in that location. I have no idea why. Hmm. Why is this? Why am I having problems, guys? Can we not have problems? Well, well, well. Um, it seems I was a little bit preemptive here. There was a wooden bridge that I can get in there, but it's a bit too far away. Can we get one in here at all, anywhere? It just looks to me like the one side is not big enough. No, it looks like I'm going to have to go up here, if anywhere. There we are, look. Now, 
Now, it doesn't matter how long the wooden bridge is, it's exactly the same amount of, uh, of stuff that you're able to require for that. So we're going to put the wooden bridge in there, and I believe that we're going to go ahead and remove rods right here. And then we're going to go ahead and grab another piece of rod. Whoops. I believe it goes into there. So let's go ahead and grab time back. And there is winter, guys. Really cold winter. We've got 234 wood going on at the moment, which is not bad. I'd like to get this thing sorted first. And I'm going to need to put down another bit of uh, dirt road there. Good luck. Uh, good luck. Good good job. They've got all of their logs. They've got all of their stone. They just need to get, uh, you know, build it now. That's all they need to do. Just build that. And then we've got access to this little area in which uh, I'm also going to put in... Now, there's stones. I don't think it's worth putting in... Hmm... Maybe a gatherer or something. Look at that. Look at all them that were born, guys. Look at all them that were born. So children can actually be born inside this, which is absolutely fantastic. We've got so much room left. It's uh, it's going to be great. It's going to be great, guys. It is going to be awesome. So a nice little boarding house there to start. It's a good test. And uh, it's done us quite nicely there as well. So we're going to pause time just a second while we uh, whip over. Whoa, can we not, can we not go over there? I seriously have to go all the way around. How much is it going to be for a tunnel? We can't get a tunnel in that area, guys. Oh, yeah, we can. 68 stone. I'm going to order a tunnel in there because I really don't want to be messing around going up all the way around there. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and continue on. Possibly not a good idea to build a tunnel in there, especially using quite a lot of stone, but look at the amount of stone we've got over here, guys. And our guy here is not going to have much uh, in the way of... Uh, we, we need to get rid of it anyway, because we're going to need to get rid of it for all of the all of the wood that's going to be in this area soon. So we've, I've told them to go and grab all that stone there. Um, it's possibly a good idea to stick a stockpile right next to the side of this. And also, I'm going to want a gatherer's hut. Quite possibly. Hmm... Where are you, Gatherer's Hut? You're in, uh, you're in food, of course. And you're there, if I believe. You're the Gatherer's Hut? Yes, you are the Gatherer's Hut. Brilliant. Let's turn you around and pop you in right opposite there. Brilliant. Let's go ahead and uh, leave that to go. Got plenty of food coming in there, guys. I think this is going to be an area for maybe some... Uh, maybe some more crop. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let's, we'll find out. We'll find out. Look at that. Look at that for a beastie tunnel, guys. Unfortunately, the beastie tunnel... Oh, no, it's not actually finished. I thought the tunnel was finished. It's not actually finished, guys. So it's not a problem there. Let's go ahead and put the dirt road around there. Like that. That should be uh, all, all done and sorted. Enough stuff going on there. Just need to finish it now. It's so very close. I've never built a bridge before, so... Oh, look at this. Little tunnel. Probably dark as hell in there. But uh, never mind. Does that even look like it's... Part of a dirt road there? I think it does. I think it does. We're going to need some people to put inside there. So, foresters. A maximum of four. Now, I'm going to take a builder off, and I'm going to put two foresters on there. And possibly... I don't want to take a farmer off. That's my problem. I need more people to grow up rather, rather sharpish, if you don't mind. Rather sharpish, if you do not mind. So apparently we've got a log limit on there. We're not. We haven't got a log limit on there. I want 300 logs, please. In fact, no. Um, I'm going to put a 400 log limit on there. I don't want to be running out of logs. I want as many logs as I possibly can. And uh, good, good, good. We've started planting our stuff. It's late spring. Uh, our wheat is already all in there, which is good news. We've now got 12 adults, which means, guys. We've got a couple of people to put into uh, the working work, workers tool, uh, workers pool, should I say. So we're going to put some foresters on all of them. Now, I am going to want another forester at some stage, but like I said, guys, I really need to start uh, getting together 
some stuff. Look at this. Look at this. Is that stone right there? It is stone right there. I've not, no idea why they're sending all that stone over there. Still, not a problem. Gatherer's Hut's going to go in there soon, guys. And all is looking well. In, uh, where are we again? Beldeen. All is looking well in Beldeen. Um, we're going to need a woodcutter at some stage. In fact, very, very soon, we are going to need a woodcutter. A bit of an oversight on my, uh, my department, on my behalf there. You know what? I think behind this might be a good idea. I'll leave a little bit of space so I can get a road down there. So at some stage, I'd like to get a road, maybe a fishing dock on the side of there. Uh, but this it needs to be done. This needs to be done here. Zetchard and Rona have become labourers. I've already sorted them out, so they're not so much labourers anymore. Getting all of this stone. This is why I'm probably getting a load of stone in there, because all of this stone inside here is what I'm picking up. Now, you can see these guys are actually planting, uh, you know, new saplings. And we do need some more logs. We do need to keep, you know, going with that. So I think what we're also going to do is remove all of the resources from down here. And we'll get that done as well. Now, I've got no labourers, so there's nobody to actually go around and, and pick all of this stuff up. Other than the people that are mining it, of course. Four iron inside there. It's good, but we'd, I'd like to start getting some more firewood. Now, luckily for us, as you can see, the firewood, 142, plenty of food, loads of food still going on as well. They've started a new harvest. It's early autumn of year two. Our woodcutters is finally going to be going down here. I think we're very nearly finished, guys. With We've got another worker in the pool as well. Hilar is going to be the woodcutter for uh, for this group, of, this merry band of men and women. Not to be sexist. The woodcutter then. Let's get one on to there, and then we are absolutely laughing. I think we'll call that for this first episode in uh, Beldeen. I keep having to move it, guys, because my fraps can at the top there. So, uh, Beldeen. Oh, we've got no gatherer as well. We've got no gatherers, guys. We need four gatherers. We're going to have to wait until the young ones are actually grown up a little bit. And Madaloop is born. Brilliant. We're going to pause that there so nothing else happens and, you know, gets... Uh, we've, we've actually fully harvested our entire area here. We've got nearly 4,000 food. We are doing well. We just need... Next on the list is tools, guys. We're going to need tools. We're going to seriously, seriously need tools. If we run out of tools, we're going to be in bother. Serious, serious bother. But that's going to be for next episode, guys. I hope to see you there. Uh, and as always, if you've liked this episode, please do leave a like. If you like what you've seen and haven't subscribed yet, also click that subscribe button. Until next time, guys, I've been the Tough Man. Thanks very much for watching. And as always, stay safe.